So uh, I know a lot of what I do on this channel is horror, and uh, this kind of is going to be one of those videos that really has nothing to do with horror, uh, mainly because this guy had a lot of influence on me and a lot of other people in the world. Uh, Stanley passed away at age 95 today, um, and I kind of was always preparing for this day. Uh, I know it kind of sounds dramatic and all that, but uh, Stanley, just probably one of the greatest uh Greatest influence, like I said, in the world from creating uh, some of the most iconic superheroes and uh, bringing them to life to us. And then now, look where it's come to now. It's cinematic universe. Uh, they're praised by millions all over the world and stuff like that. Uh, kids look up to them as heroes, real life heroes and stuff like that. But him and Jack Kirby created something uh, phenomenal that will go down in history forever. And... Uh, you know, I, I, this one kind of hurt this morning. I woke up, and uh, one of my buddies called me about it and told me the news, and uh, I didn't believe him at first, and then I actually researched it, and yeah. Poor uh, Stanley was um, fighting pneumonia, and he was going blind at the same time, so uh, that, that's kind of hard to hear when you when you think of uh, an iconic uh, figure like Stanley. Uh, and today, I just kind of wanted to make a little tribute video to Stanley because, uh, like I said, he will go down in history as one of the greatest uh, contributors to the comic book universe of all time. Uh, he brought, like I said, some of the most iconic characters, anywhere from Captain America to Iron Man, the Hulk, Black Panther, uh, Doctor Strange. It, it, you know, you see a lot of those on the big screen today, and now a lot of people know who he, who they are. And none of the, these characters would be who they are, where they are today, if it weren't for Stanley. So. Here's a little tribute of some of my favorite Stanley moments uh, throughout the cinematic universe, other cameos he has made. Um, like I said, I know this isn't a horror-related video, but I wanted to show my respects to Stanley because uh, I'm a huge comic book nerd. I got like graphic novels back there and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this little tribute to Stanley and uh, to Stan's uh, family, uh, friends, fans all over the world. My condolences to. Uh, to Stan, may he rest in peace. He's with his wife again, and he's with Jack Kirby again writing Heaven's Comics. So, Stan, this one's for you, and thank you for everything you've given us. Are you Tony Stank? Yes, this is this is Tony Stank. Wow, nice suit. Zip it, Stan Lee! Oh, see this? This was aged for a thousand years. The barrels built from the wreck of Brunhill's fleet is not meant for mortal men. Neither was Omaha Beach, Blondie. Stop trying to scare us. Come on. All right. Egg shell shield. Superheroes in New York. Give me a break. You know, it reminds me of an issue of Spider-Man I did. When Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy went lingerie shopping. Of course, the Green Goblin showed up, and he pumpkin bombed the hell out of the place. But aside from that, it, it's pretty much the same thing. Oh my god. Holy shit! Aren't you? Oh, Stanley. Hi. A hundred years from now, if somebody should bring up my name, if, if it would still be around, it would be nice if people say, geez, I... I thought he was a good writer. His stories gave me a lot of pleasure. That's what people tell me now, and it's the best thing any writer can ever hear. When, when I see the characters that I helped to create on the screen, I don't really think of them as my characters. I, I really sit in the theater and I watch them the way every member of the audience watches them. And at the end of the movie, I usually say, damn, that was good. I'm so glad. But I worked with artists who brought them into life, who, who, who let people see what they look like and showed the action. There are directors who added so much to the characters in their direction and the actors who brought so much. It isn't a one-man field. It is so many people contribute. I'm just happy that I've had a hand in all of this. And uh, I'm happy that even after all these years, someone bothers to interview me about it. I'm really very uh, flattered. <laughs>